Hello friends, here I will share to you how to create different types of buttons in Kinder Python. So inside of each tab, we'll show you different things that you create inside there. This is works same with Google Chrome tab, but actually this is not Google Chrome tab. So inside of each tab, you can create anything there. But here I will only create some different text inside of each tab of button. Before we start, I will show you the last result works looks like. So commonly, to create anything with Kinter, you need to create an empty window first. To create an empty window, you need to write the three lines of Python like this. So first, we need to import all that inside of Kinter. And then, you write your variable. For example, I choose variable root. Root is my variable. So that, I write root equal tk and then root.mainloop you can change root to another word you like because this is variable after you, you run these three lines of python you will see the result like this an empty window after this we need to add the title and also change the background of our window so to add the title you need to write first your variable for example root and then you write again dot title and then write down your title that you want to set at your window for example i choose my title different tabs with kinder and then to change the background color of your window write the root busy and then equal so I choose gray, so I write in here gray color. So after you run this, you will see something like this. Look on the music. So next, we want to create our canvas. To create our canvas, before we create our canvas, we need to write this dev and then tab and after this you need to write tab and between this tab you can write down the canvas so i write in here c1 is my variable so c1 equal canvas and then root and then background of my canvas canvas is like a rectangle color a rectangle that you want to set on the screen so the rectangle color that i choose is brown so i write in here busy brown and then the width was 1400 and then the height 100 and then to, to show your canvas on the screen write down c1 dot place and then specify the place for the x represent represent the horizontal and then for the y represent the vertical so after this you run you will see something like this after this under the canvas that you have right between the tab under the canvas you can create a button now we will create a tab one button so i write my variable tab one b and then i write in here button root and then text is represent text that will be so on the button so I write in here tab one and then I set and then I font I set the font Arial and the pixel 20 and then I set the place X is represent horizontal the number was count from the left to right and the for the horizontal left to right and then for the vertical from top to down so when the number of x was bigger it will go more to the right and when the number of y or vertical 
bigger, it will make the button goes to button to bottom or to bottom or uh, to down. And when you run this, you will see something like this. So now we want to create another button. Tap to button. So we do the same. So tap to B this variable and then write button to create button, root and then text that we want to show on that button was tab 2 so write there text tab 2 and then font the same and then we change the place on the horizontal so the place was uh, the place for x was 550 and for the vertical 567 and then when you run this you will see something like this now we want to create third button to create third button under button 2 you need to write another variable tab t b b and write down button to create a button and the text that will show on the button was tab 3 so you write there tab 3 and then you change the place x to 950 and the horizon at uh, the vertical place will be the same and when you run this you will see something like this <laughs> But don't delete all the code that we have right before. This is I only crop this to make this bigger. So we just continue. Now we want to set the command for each button. So when you click at tap one button, we want to show something there. So we need to write div div and then tap one tap one is variable so after this under the tap one you can write down whatever that you want to happen when you click at tap one button so i want to create a new canvas with the background blue and here i set the width and then the height and i set the place uh, and then i want to create also the text that will show when I click at button tab 1 so the text was this is first tab for tab 1 and then the background of the label was blue and then the font area and the pixel of the text was 30 and I also set the place here so after this I write in here tab this is to show this is to make the three buttons never disappear when you click at button tab 1 tab 2 or tab 3 so after you write the the div the def in here so you need to write at the tab 1 button you need to edit something there you need to write again the command and then equal tab 1 this tab 1 is referred to the def tab 1 that we have right above so when you click at the tab 1 what will happen is something is anything that you have right under tab one so after you do this it will show something like this so when you click at tab one it will show the screen like this so now we want to create command for the tab to button so to do that we need to write def tab 2 and then write down under tab 2 what did you want to happen when you click at button tab 2 so i will create a new canvas with the background orange and the text this is second thumb second 
tab or tab 2 and then the background also orange and then I set the font the same font and then I write down the place and also tab and after you write dev tab 2 you need to write in here button tab 2 the part of button tab 2 you need you need to write you need to write command and then equal tab 2 so this is so that when you click at tab 2 button it will it will show what that you have write down under tab 2 dev so let's continue so this is will be what looks like after you click at tap to button well, open up your mind and see like me open up your plans and damn you're free I look into your heart and you'll find love 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 listen to the music of the moment people dance and sing we're just one big family and it's our god for taking heart to be loved love 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 so I don't pay it's not our day Here we want to create command for third button, tap three button, tap. So you need to do the same. You write in your dev and then write tap three. And under tap three, you need to write what that you want to happen when you click at tap three button. After you write all, I do the same. I only change the background to the light green and then the text this is your text so not only text you can create the, the button also another button that will appear when you click at tab 3 button so after this you need to go to the tab 3 button lines that you have right and then you need to write there command equal tab 3 tab 3 is referred to the dev tab 3 after this, it will show something like this when you click at tab 3. The light green background, also the text, this is their tab or tab 3. You can create also button in here, not only the text or anything. Entry, you can also do that. So this is the wall source code that we need to write to create different steps buttons in Kinter with different command at each button. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe in this channel to support this channel for war. Thank you.